Hi guys, so today we have something pretty pretty old, it's a getaway PC and it's Pentium 2 inside and Windows NT98 so we can say it's a pretty old machine let me show you from the back now so this is how it looks from the back it's as you can see complete, has a GPU and modem card, LAN card, everything is here. We will now go ahead and try to turn it on. So, as soon as I plugged uh, in the power, it turned on. And it's working. So, here it is, Pentium 2 at 350 megahertz. And we have some RAM, it's 192 megabytes of RAM, two sticks. Let's now see if it will boot or not. Does it have a hard drive? Yes, it does. Entering Windows. <coughs> Windows 2000 Professional. And it seems to have a password. I'll try uh, using Hirens or Hirens CD. Boot CD to bypass the password so we can see is there any data there? But before that, let me show you how it looks from the inside. So we have two cards, we have a GPU here, there's our CPU over there with a passive cooler and a loud fan from the power supply which is 200 volts. Okay, we have two drives here. Okay, I just wanted to say. Oh, we got ourselves a CD here. Nice, some German music. Yeah. Nice. Just wanted to say it's so nice when, when a CD-ROM opens without needing to hit it. So one did open, the other one did not. I'll try and boot with Hiram CD now and see if I can crack the password. Please wait. Oh, how to get there without a mouse? Oh, there it is. Unlock. Okay. Save changes. I think I managed to change the password to four zeros. And yeah, we're in. Date is invalid. Of course it is. Look at this colors. Uh, this is it guys. It's working normally. Everything is working. So what's this? It's a song. Calm down. Ringtone. That's it. Uh, we can say it's working. We will take the motherboard out and play a bit with her, so stand by. And here we are. The board is outside. Gave her a quick clean. And let's see how it looks. As you can see, all the capacitors are looking great, none of them is bulged or anything. There is no rust on the um, connectors. And of course no damage on the board. Now we can see that one is Micron, I'm guessing. Anyway, we can see our RAM here, ID slots, front panel connectors. So we have an ISA connector, five um, PCI and one AGP port. <coughs> uh, the CPU is Pentium 2 350 megahertz and everything works just as it should. 
and the uh, GPU that was with the PC is this I did not clean it yet but it's GTTI 4200 and as I mentioned the fan is working very silent it's of course MSI uh, GPU and all the capacitors look okay so that's nice anyway this was everything for this board um, please leave a comment and tell me would you like to see more of these older boards or the newer ones are also okay for you please let me know thanks and let's go to the next pc hi guys here's our next pc looks nothing spectacular let's see from the back also nothing special the motherboard looks okay there's additional gpu so what do we have here it's an amd board in gigabyte uh, ga m555 or no m55s minus or dash s3 has two sticks of ram has a gpu winfast gpu with it's px 8500 gt okay the motherboard looks pretty there's a hard drive here so we might boot to windows there's our gpu okay and code gen 400 watt power supply let's go ahead and try to start it up let's see what happens and spins right away let's check our monitor yeah it's working let us check which cpu is there Athlon 64x2 okay uh, 3600 plus okay we have two gbs of DDR2800 memory so there's two sticks each of 1 GB let's see if it will boot to Windows and it will Windows 6p so we can see here also that it's Athlon 64 with 2 GB of RAM and it's a Windows 6p PC So the motherboard is out. Um, as we already mentioned, it's Gigabyte GA M55S S3. It's an AM2 socket uh, and it has a chipset uh, NVIDIA Enforce 550. This uh, motherboard can take up to 16 GBs of RAM uh, in uh, its four slots, so that's very cool. Uh, it has a PCI Express for the GPU, some PCI Express X1s to PCI uh, ports, and there uh, are uh, SATA and ID connectors. So it has both of them, which is nice. However, our motherboard has a leaking problem. So some capacitors leaked. But as you saw, it's working normally, so I wouldn't make a big problem out of it. But if anyone wants to use it um, for a longer time, eh, they will have to replace it. So it does not get, so it stays re reliable. Okay, um, that's it for this board. We have one more computer to go. Uh, and I'll see you there. Wait okay guys so here's our next pc uh, this pc is for the people that want to do something about their body want to do some fitness but they are not sure which sport should they choose so 
this PC will help you with that. You can choose uh, handball, uh, archery, dancing, or is this ballet, fighting, martial skills, or is this some kind of skating or something? So when you're not sure what to do, you just turn on this PC and it will tell you uh, what will you do today. So this is from its front end. Let's see in the back. So we have a regular power supply. Um, we have four USB ports, extender card for USB and one slot GPU. So let's now open it and we have a uh, dust proof uh, tape here so that's nice somebody cared about their pc anyway let's open it and see what's inside what do we have here it's an abit ax8 motherboard we have one stick of ram it's an amd board by the fan yeah and we have a gpu here it's something silent we'll see it later what it is we have a hard drive it's 120 gbs floppy it's cd-rom and that's about it uh, abit motherboards have a tendency to have a leaked capacitors but by the first look they all look good so i'm happy about that anyway let's try and run this pc let's see will it run or not everything is connected switching the power supply and i don't know if you see this it's just blinking the debug card for us it blinks for a second and I can hear some clicking so seems like the power supply can't get enough power does not give enough power so I'm guessing the power supply is faulty and it can't give enough power to start the boot sequence so now we'll try I'm gonna take her out no I'm gonna remove the power supply and test it with my power supply while it's still inside this case so please wait to let me do that okay before putting my power supply i'm use i will use the power supply tester and test this one to see is it really bad here's my power supply tester let me connect everything and then we'll see what happens my power supply tester is here let me just crank it up oh yeah stopped right away there's something wrong with this power supply it was supposed to be working constantly so we can say it's faulty that's for sure goodbye colors IT switching power supply so let's see Will it work with this code gen power supply? Okay, it the fan did not start. However, we have number zero zero on the debug card. This means we're taking the motherboard out, so please wait. We can't work like this. Okay, so uh, until now I was testing it with a power supply that I'm not even sure that is good. And now I'm testing it with my good known power supply. So let's see what happens now. I won't plug in the hard disk right now. Uh, this actually looks okay. It's showing zero zero as in I would translate it as I have power you can turn me on and 
it's booting up so we could say that it was a problem in the let me plug in the GPU that came with the motherboard it's HD54 512 megabytes now we will see what happens turning it on let's see the screen yeah works right away so we can definitely confirm that it was problem in the power supply AMD Athlon 64 3000 plus with 512 uh, megabytes of RAM okay we'll turn it off now and plug in the hard drive Seagate Barracuda 7200 uh, rounds per minute and it's 120 GBs okay the motherboard read the uh, hard drive that it's here we will just continue and yeah it has Windows 6P on it it has a username and password for Windows login but it's working let me now uh, clean the motherboard so here's our board outside as already uh, told it's a bit ax8 i don't see any of them on ebay or i don't see any sold on ebay also so i'm not sure um, is this a rare uh, motherboard or not anyway uh, what we have is it's of course socket socket 939 and it has Athlon 64 it's 3000 plus it has standard connectors plus some additional uh, sound card connectors um, for USB ports uh, it has PCI Express some more PCI X1 and PCI slots ID connectors here also we have two SATA connectors as much as I see four DDR slots over here as you can see it's DDR 400 megahertz memory uh, other than that what's good about it is that it has a debug screen where you can see the error codes and that's about it it's a nice looking board a bit boards uh, have a tendency to have blown or leaked capacitors but however this one is in a great great shape so I'm happy about that and this is it for today's video um, I'll be recording a new video because I already bought something today and I'll be showing you in the next videos it's a bunch of dirty old computers so stay tuned goodbye